<laughs> it's the Duck Samus. The Duck Samus. All right. Getting in game one, Battlefield. I'm a little bit curious about the fact that uh, they were able to counter pick here. This seems like this would really benefit Sacred more Ooh. than it would Envoy. You must but have seen that setup before. Ooh. Yeah, Sacred's definitely been on point with um, some of these. Uh, oh boy, oh, no, some of these Zairs. Man, he can control the air so well with the Zair. I'll be really interested to see on Void if he does opt for any kind of edge guards against Samus. That up B is really good and super invincible. Did you see that cancel? That was he nuts. canceled the charge shot into the immediate grab. What a fake out! Oh, Sacred has some tricks up his sleeve. I can almost. I can almost guarantee. Oh, try to use the iframes, the Ubi to beat out. Is he That's not going to do it. Oh my gosh, it was close though. Woo. I'm sure that like the few Samus mains in the chat flamed me for saying Samus <laughs> bottom tier before the buffs. <laughs> but Sacred acting like it doesn't matter what to him. What the heck? He got the spike off of it? Yeah, man. That's uh, that's that first hitbox of up tilt. Here. The spacing right now is looking fantastic. Yeah. And it's really interesting because Sheik really does have the, the one of the few characters in the game that has the frame data and hitbox just to play in your face oh the entire time. My. Wow. And that amazing it. DI. Wow. That was an amazing uh, Trump situation. That's He's dead from it. that. Wow. <laughs> what awareness. This is secret. awesome, man. I love seeing unplayed characters. You just see so much nutty, so many nutty situations that you would never expect. Airs from ledge. Yep. Unfortunately, punished on hit. Oh wow. boy. Wow. Sacred went for all of that. We're fishing a little hard right now. I don't know, man. We saw a lot of this from Envoy yesterday. It just really worked more than like more than it didn't. Come at me. Wow. Waits, but doesn't quite get the whole up air. Ooh, that's gonna. Nope. Nope. Samus is too heavy. That power suit saving the day. Yes. Envoy is taking a lot of damage on this second stock right now. He has to be careful. He's probably a charge shot away on ledge from death. Oh. Did I call it? <laughs> God, I'm good. Not as good as Sacred, Why but Why would you God, put that I'm out good. there? Why did you do that to that man? Oh. God. That was sick. Feels, oh, I love being right. It's the <laughs> best feeling. Oh, man. Everyone's smiling. Everyone loves seeing low tears. That is hype. <laughs> it really is. The guy's fighting in the back of the Brawl Hall of Sticks. <laughs> uh, you remember, remember when they had those out at Evo? Oh, my gosh. It's <laughs> everywhere. All right. And op opting for FD now. Um, arguably, probably Sheik's best stage in the new meta just because he, she is able to get so much needle camping out and you know, just resets on the ground with fair strings. But Sacred. Oh, oh, no. Well, good thing it's three out of five. Yep. Oh, man. But to highlight some of the neat things that Envoy was doing yesterday in pools, um, had to play uh, Kino from South Florida Pikachu main right. to make it into top eight. Um, had a stock advantage on Kino at the time. Kino goes for the drag down backer that you see from so many Pikas. Right. Envoy jumped out of it and then immediately dare spiked him. Beautiful. It's just like, oh, you've got Trixies. I like it. But Envoy pl not playing like it matters to him right now. Already has a decent advantage on this stock. Has to find a way to close it out without taking too much percent, though. Early SDs will cost you against heavies. Yep. Especially playing a character like Sheik, where you have to play so well, so patiently to get a kill. Yeah, I feel like if you know if we were able to find a way to for Smash Four to be played at a task level, there's no way Sheik would not be the best character. Right. But right, right now, without that perfection, it just is such a it's such a risk. Oh, wow. Okay. This isn't a terrible position. No, it's not. Low percent is where Sheik really shines. Right. Ooh, that's so scary. That dash attack's just crazy. It's super good, man. Send you straight up. <laughs> Ledge coverage. Was that a uh, a shield break setup? I'm not sure if it's a shield break setup, but if you do stand up into the bomb, it'll put you in a knockback if you'd be able to charge shot you. Well, isn't a uh, a bomb plus a full charge power shot a shield break? You might be right. Oh my god, the wow. <laughs> kill Oh man. Sacred saying, I don't care if you're PR'd in Tennessee, this is my turf. <laughs> Are we gonna see back to back three O's in the initial sets man, of I top hope eight? Not. 
no one likes to see that. You know, e even Sacred's got to be kind of bummed out. It doesn't feel good to win against Estes. All right, going right back to FD. Yeah, hopefully we won't see the uh, another one. No, nope, back air. Nice. The grenade come out this round. Let's give him a little one. Yep. Quick, Again, quick damage is damage. Quick love tap with the charge shot. I like the needle camping. Um, I really feel like that's the correct answer. Yeah, because what is Samus going to do to approach? Right. I mean, really. You have a not very good grab, and you have dash attack. Yep. Wow, nice punish on Shio. Hello. Oh, that was beautiful. Weaves outside of the bomb to yeah. get the needle's fish. Perfect spacing. Ooh. Call out on get that out of my fish. face! Wow, that dare hitbox is quite generous. Yeah, it's very rare to see like a full-length hitbox like that right. in Smash 4. Like just starting from one side to the other. Oh, the ledge cancel was awesome. Man. Oh, <laughs> unfortunate. That could have been it. Oh! That back no. is not going to kill. This is 2017. Nerfed. Nerfed into oblivion. Oh, that will. Wow, and well Envoy with a pretty decent lead right now. No charge shot right now for Sacred. Oh, he had to see that cover. Yeah, what? Uh, or that one. Hey, man, it worked once. Well, I, I like the logic from Envoy because he's throwing out the needles uh, against the charge. Right. Because if he does hit Samus, the charge will cancel and have to start all over. But uh, Sacred, uh, one step ahead of him and, you know, putting the two-piece to the dome. Oh man, that's so fast. Mm, not quite. Um, okay. Sheik boys, where's she? Tech Yikes. Boys. Luckily, a good knockback on that uh, that stage spike for Envoy, though. Yeah. Oh, man. Getting quite the extra credit here. Whoa, barely hits the, misses the sweet spot. That might have actually killed at these percents, too, yeah. if, if he had gotten the tipper box. Had a good charge on it, too. Envoy came super close to upsetting Scat yesterday, too, in winner's side. This is actually why he's in losers now, is he did end up losing game five Ooh. to Scat. <gasps> the deepest fair. <laughs> and he made it back. Oh, my gosh. He said, you're not 3 0 this man today. I ain't done yet. Wow. Huh, well, I guess the FD pick was correct after all, even though uh, the first attempt kind of got flushed down the toilet. And we see uh, Envoy, or excuse me, uh, Sacred now kind of taking a moment. Hey man, sometimes you just gotta sit for a sec. In fighting games, a lot of times, uh, you just go back to character select. Even if you're not gonna change anything, you just need a little bit of time to sit and think. Mm-hmm. Mull over what happened. Yep. Correct your mistakes. Oh, again, some rules clarification seems. Yeah, trying to figure out whether uh, Dave's stupid rules affect this is the Evo 2016 rule set. So, okay. yes, it's one ban and DSR in yep. top five. Or top eight, excuse me. Best of five scenarios. All right. <laughs> the lone Tennessee representative in the crowd calling out to cheer on his boy. <laughs> Town and City is the counter pick. The slightly smaller ceiling and relatively small size might benefit Sacred a little bit, but Envoy can clearly take advantage of this as well. Yep. Man, that dash attack is just, once it's out, it's out, it's done. It's a little bit curious to see that it feels like this match is already at a much slower pace than we've seen the first three. Right. Sacred really taking his foot off the gas this wow. round. And looking like Envoy just sitting all over him at the moment, though. I like seeing Envoy kind of switch from, he'll, he'll do a little bit of needle camping at one moment, and then he'll be in Sacred's face the next. It's so important to keep that mix-up going because you don't yep. want to get too predictable. Oh. Hmm. Fishing a little hard there, but... 
Still in quite the commanding lead. Oh boy, where'd she go? Re grab. Re Tries to get out there, but the floatiness of Samus prevents him from really getting <laughs> that down air capitalization. Okay, so you're not gonna blast me this time. Oh man, just do it. He's trying to get these hard call outs because that was the dare that was supposed to go over top of the bouncing fish there, but he just didn't space it quite correctly. What do we got here? Ah. Oh. Doesn't quite get the down arm ledge himself. Sacred, I, I saw him do that a couple times in those re-grab situations. He's really good about He just waits the just that split second to where it, it foils the attempt at the uh, <gasps> left guard. Wow. Couldn't foil that, though. Envoy, well on his way to bringing this back to an even set. But he's dead. Oh, boy. No! Oh. It looked like it was going to be a fresh kill. No, it doesn't actually close it out. That's, That's crazy. crazy. Why do you lie to me? Great DI from Envoy, just keeping himself alive. Wow, and like you said, low percents are where she can really shine. Get some extra credit here. And Sacred without a charge shot right now either. Very limited in his options and just eating this damage. Ooh. Another back here? <gasps> yeah, we out here right now. All right, now officially has it. <gasps> oh my. That should have been it. Yeah, no, Envoy uh, was pr uh, preparing himself for the BTFB, holding the shield on ledge. Point blank. Shot to the dome, and now Sacred has a chance to close out this set. And there's that weight you mentioned. Mm -hmm. It's just enough. not the lightest of characters. So Envoy does have to be very careful about being about losing to Rage right now. Or excuse me, not the heaviest of characters. Another one? Okay. <gasps> if he got in that second upper, he might have been able to get the uppy off the top. Okay. Gets the one, two, uh, four tilt. Oh, Whoa! No. Sus Suspect DI. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. And now Envoy flipping the narrative right now, rewriting yep. the script. Are we going to see the reversal? That is my question. We drum it. Luckily. We only have four people with those clappers. <laughs> Just wait till some of the other games get on the big stage. Oh god. <laughs> Marvel's up next, if I'm not mistaken. That's gonna be deafening. Yeah. Yeah. But as of the moment we're tuned into Smash 4 and that's where it's at right now. Good Day some, coming some over to pro tips here. Day coming over to give uh, Sacred some moral support. Oh, no, he's giving them the audio cues on the bouncing fish. He pointed the ear and just, just like, discussing the fact that you're able to hear it before it actually happens. Aw, Griffin's parents are here. That's so cute. What? Look, it's right over there. They've just put down the side. <laughs> Go fatality. That's super cute. Oh. <laughs> That's adorable. Oh, man, I hope that gets on cam. That's beautiful. <laughs> oh. I, think, I think the stream runner's looking over to to tilt it real quick. That's super adorable. Hopefully we'll get that between sets, but <laughs> game five, Dreamland, okay. Triplat, low ceiling, let's yep, go. Yep, yep. Or Triplat, medium size ceiling, right. I suppose. Maybe we'll finally see one of those uppies connect for a stock. Oh, doesn't get it. His DI has been on point on those up airs. Well, that's the thing about it. Like, you can actually follow up the up air with another aerial, but you just have to, like, make sure you're not, you know where the opponent is going. Right. And every time now, oh. Oh. No. 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 Of all the games to do that, game five is not the best one. Oh. And Envoyed, you know, I'm sure feels no sympathy given um, the fact that he was put in a 2-0 hole oh, because yeah. of an SD of his own. Mm -hmm. This is this is his just desserts. You can never count anyone out in this game either. There's so much weird weird stuff that can happen. Absolutely not. I mean, Sacred's only at 34% right now. If he's able to close out the stock at a uh, you know, 
less than meaningful percent. It right. should be pretty easy for him to make this a competitive game five. Unfortunately, about to get lapped. It can be hard to do, but when you're in a winning situation, the worst thing you can do is change up your play style. Yep. You don't want to get desperate. You don't want to start fishing for kills. You just, if you're already winning, you're doing something correctly. You keep doing it. And that applies to both players right now. Ooh, oh my that god, is that crunchy? Oh, he dared in the blast zone and that killed? Wow. Don't throw out hitboxes, ladies and gentlemen. Get back. Oh my gosh, this will be such a comeback. But now, you gotta wonder if the pressure has maybe flipped. Sacred, you know, pushed back in the reverse 3 0 situation, but now Envoy, with that unfortunate early death, has to be, you know, maybe feeling himself just a little bit. He hasn't taken any percent yet, and he's looking like he's gonna keep up the same consistent pressure we've been seeing. Ooh, but the DI. second you let down your guard is when Samus can strike. Uh oh, re grab situation. Doesn't go for the down tilt this time, just immediately get, or excuse me, the downer this time gets the down tilt and gets the confirmed damage. Still seeing at 0%. Oh, and he's dead. Oh, yes, JV3 for Envoyed. Wow, that. <sighs> Did not let the pressure.